But, you know, that's the 1%. You know, it's one person that ruins it for everyone. I can it's, understand. It's been great for me. Yeah. Every YouTuber I've met, I've liked. Every fan. I've I met hate fans. Boogie2988. Oh, leave him alone, have man. Have met that. Him. Every fan subscriber I've met, perfectly nice. Yeah. Boogie2988 once was a very respectable member of the YouTube community. Right? I mean, no, his most popular video was Fat Man Falls Into a Fucking Pool. I don't oh my think God, he was that me. respectable. <laughs> you fell in a pool? No, I was just fat. I have been friends, or at least friendly, with Boogie for- Just before Keen goes into this rant, we have tried to be nice to Boogie, but he's been a cunt to us. How many times have we reached out to him? I'm going to explain it right now. All right, go, I'm going to go, explain it right now. Go. All right. I'll sit here and drink my drink. Can I have another drink, please, Scott? <clears throat> Boogie2988, uh, the biggest man on YouTube, not in subwise, but, you know, large gentleman. He recently got, um, you know, he got he got his stomach stapled and he lost a bunch of weight, right? Yeah, now he's putting it on. His wife got rid of him after okay, that Okay, you can't bring his wife into it, I'm man. Not, I'm That's just a saying, low I'm, blow. I'm giving a little backstory. I'm not talking all right, shit. All right, I'm giving a going. little backstory, Keep going. Right? I'm here to regulate this. He was a very, very respected person, and his opinion mattered within the YouTube community throughout the years of 2015, 16, and 17. That is a fact. I will give him credit where credit's due. When he talks about games, I am genuinely interested because he is a fat... No. I'm not talking about your personal opinion. All right, opinion go of him. on, keep going. I am talking about the Kill audiences, him. the viewers' opinions of Boogie Two Nine Eight Eight. He was a respected person. All right, I'm not saying clown respect to him. That's not what I'm, I'm saying, saying either. You're saying that the that he didn't have some fucking fat fucking neckbeard was like, oh yeah, I really like how we talk about Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> he does he does funny spin, man. Oh, why 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 can't you double jump with Crash Bandicoot, man? It's bad, <laughs> bad. I don't like this game. Anyhow, Boogie2988 was a respected uh, voice in the YouTube community for quite some time to everyone except for Clown in his Crash Bandicoot review. And um, all that has went sour. His views have went down. He's lost his weight. He's lost his fans. He lost his wife. He lost a lot of things. Lost his mom. Oh, man. <laughs> no, I had to leave that. There's a Reddit thread and it's called like Sam Cokey or some shit. I don't even know the name of it. There's a Reddit thread that has gone throughout the fucking years exposing the nice guy of YouTube, Boogie2988, as a complete fraud and a very manipulative, lying bastard, bad guy, right? And this Reddit, excuse me, Reddit thread keeps growing and growing and growing and growing and growing because Boogie keeps fucking up. I can't get into all the details of everything he's ever done because we'll be here all day, mm. but... Recently, he told somebody in the DMs, because Boogie's always playing the victim, oh, they're bullying me, I'm being harassed. Blah, blah. Recently, he told somebody in the DMs that he got swatted twice in December, okay? So the Reddit decided, you know what? Let's play a little detective here. They call the local police, all right? And they figure out if he got swatted or not. He was never swatted at all. He was never swatted. They go through all the records, never swatted. The police issued a statement saying, yeah, Stephen Williams, which is his real name, and that's public, so I'm not doxing him, um, was never swatted. So they call him out on Twitter, and he's like, yeah, I, I was swatted, but I got an agreement with my local police, and uh, th they're not going to uh, put that in the, in the notes. Mm. And so they went back to the police, and they're like, look, this is what Boogie's saying on Twitter publicly, that you guys are not going to put it in the notes. And the police station said, no, that's false. Mm. Boogie's lying. Uh, every single call we put as public notes so everybody can see yeah, yeah. every call. So Boogie is now exposed for lying about being swatted. So then he changed his story, and now he's trying to say that he was putting out that false information to mess with the trolls. Oh, it was a publicity stunt, and his manager? manager? His PR team. Okay, yeah. Boogie. By the way, Boogie is making like less than $5,000 a month on YouTube. He doesn't have a fucking PR team. Mm. Boogie be like, Someone ordered 100 pizzas to my house. I ate them. YouTube video. <laughs> my point of bringing up this story is, is that Boogie has been a fraud for a very long time. I'm going to... I remember when he came on Baited. He was talking I, about I Hitler. accused him of certain things and like asked him certain questions. He was like, yeah, yeah, man. 100%. You're right. It was like the most pandering bullshit. But you can't say anything after that. You, you because if you're admitting to everything I'm accusing you of and mm. you're like, yeah, man. Yeah, you, clown you're right. Like, clown's like, you pander, you do this. And he's like, yeah, he's like, yeah, 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 I, I, you know, know, I, I do, do this. I do. I'm a fake person. He literally said that. He's like, I'm fake. He's like, okay, what do I do now? 
We seem like horrible people right now, but we've tried to help you. I have. Oh, so I put together a group chat of 50 YouTubers. I'm talking we the biggest it. YouTubers. We filled it to the max. We think of the it, biggest yeah. YouTubers in the platform. They were in there. Khan <clears throat> was in there. Chad was in there. And our whole Somehow. goal was to stop Boogie from killing himself. Okay, all right? we can't leave that in. Why? All right, that's fine. It's public. Boogie right. made it public. All right, yeah, true, true. Okay, it's, it's, it's totally fine. He was... He told everyone over the summer, this last summer, 2019, he was going to kill himself. So we decided that we would save him. Every single one of us took time out of our days, talked to him on the phone for hours. My time, the, no, no, help. the time out of my day was don't listen to these retards in the group chat. Go see a therapist, you fat prick. Regardless, we spent hours and hours talking to yeah. him. Yeah. And he would not take any of our advice. And it became very clear that this dude. Wanted attention. He liked people calling him and talking to him on the phone, trying to help him more than actually fixing the problem. Mm. And that's what he was seeking. He was seeking someone to talk to. Boogie'd be like, I'm going to kill myself. Hunger strike. Okay, see you in fucking six years, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we tried to help him. He's a lost cause. Let him rot. Let him lose his subs. I mean, he just deletes his channel. He's, he's, he's done now. He doesn't cards. have any fans. He's done. I think that really fucked him was like his true colors really shine through on live stream. And he got into live streaming a lot because that, that's a good source of income. Yeah, true. And obviously his YouTube was drying up. And like, and I, I don't think his content ever got worse. I think it was like the times changed. Like, he's, like if you go back... Six years ago, he's still got the same thumbnails, you know? Well, on his live stream, he said that the people that troll him are worse than Nazis. Yeah, he said some fucking... He said some really dumb things. And I don't... I'm not going to fault the poor guy for it. Because you said feel, dumb things? I've said dumb things on a live stream too. Everyone fucking has. It's not to me. But you say stuff in the moment. Ethan on his fucking podcast that says stuff in the moment. I have fucking, never said anything dumb on a live stream. Yeah, ever yeah. in my career. Never, not once. I, I can think of one. No, I'm sure thing. you can. <laughs> and I'm gonna sit here with my hands up. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, no, I'm not gonna drag him through the mud any fucking more. Like the guy has done enough to ruin his YouTube channel. He doesn't need our fucking help to do it. He's already on this self-destructive path. And there's nothing, we've tried to help him, but I'm not going to fucking contribute to making it worse. Boogie, leave the internet for six oh. months and come back and stop being such a okay. desperate for attention, bro. Like, just, just do your thing. Entertain the people.